Howdy and welcome everyone to Mr. East Classroom. I'm Mr. East. In today's video, we're going to be introducing the class to the basics of geography. And when I say basics, I mean really basic. So I like to begin each of my classes with either a big question or, um, or a big topic that we're going to be covering in that day's video. So today's big question is, what is geography? Okay, that's a very, well, clearly a very basic question, uh, but one that we really should talk about. Very often when we begin talking about a subject, we don't stop to think, well, what really is this? So if you're looking at history or physics or math or biology, what have you, each of those is a field of study uh, that covers a specific topic. And not only does it cover a topic, but it covers a topic in a specific way. So when we're thinking about geography, its topic is the world. Yep, the whole world. Specifically the surface of the world, but it's not limited to that. So it's specifically it covers the physical world and all that's in it, really. Um, but geography differs from other things that study the world, like the physical sciences, although it does include them in its own studies. Uh, geography focuses on studying the world in spatial terms. So what does spatial mean? Well, spatial is a word that we talked about in the class introduction, but it's one that bears uh, flushing out here. So spatial is a sort of fancy word that means a very simple thing. Uh, spatial refers to, well, Spatial is very much like the words either temporal or numeric. Now, temporal may also be a word you haven't heard much before, but all temporal means is having to do with time. So if I said I'm thinking temporally, I'm thinking in terms of time and lengths of time or passing time. If I'm thinking in numeric terms, numeric is probably a word you've heard before, and it means number. So if I'm speaking numerically, well, that's a weird way to speak to begin with, but I'm talking about numbers and quantifying things. Spatial means having to do with space, physical space. And so geography is the study of the world in spatial terms, which is why I have a picture here of a map of New Orleans. That's a very old map. It's not one you'd want to use today. Uh, but maps, and we'll talk more about this in a later video, maps really sum up what geography is about. It's understanding the world and how it all works together in a spatial way. Uh, now in the introduction, now in the introductory video I asked you to think about uh, the geography of your home, the layout of your home, and the layout of the route you might take to get to school uh, you could extend that to thinking, how is a school organized, right? And you would think, well, you're in a classroom one moment, and then you take a hall to get to other rooms and other spaces where you do other activities, whether that's the gym or the library, all areas where you do certain tasks and that have certain rules of behavior in those places. The whole world can be thought of in a similar way, Although, of course, not the whole world is designed by, you know, human beings to perform very niche tasks. We could be talking about mountain ranges and plains and farmlands, etc. Now, thinking of the world in this way, just like thinking of the world in any other kind of way, is a skill. And it's a skill that you have to work on and practice. But like other skills, once you've practiced them enough, they can be really useful in the real world. Just like you would use math to figure out how to uh, balance a checkbook, for instance. Something hopefully you won't have to do for a while. Um, spatial thinking can help you accomplish any kind of task when it has to do with navigating the world or understanding what to expect in certain parts of the world, right? So you could begin small as we've done, or you could say, okay, I'm in New Orleans, right? Where is New Orleans located? It's on the Gulf Coast of the United States. 
Okay, what are the kinds of things that happen on the Gulf Coast of the United States? Well, you probably know a few. You probably take them for granted. In the summers, it gets very hot. It can rain a lot. Um, weather patterns can bring hurricanes, as our city is very familiar with. Um, those are dangerous. You may look around and notice that many houses here are raised. If you go to Omaha, Nebraska, you probably won't find many houses raised. You'll probably find basements. You won't find many basements here in New Orleans. Okay? So just in that little scenario, we're thinking about geographic space, why things are organized as they are, because of where they are. You see? Um, and I really am trying to emphasize the point that the same basic pattern of reasoning that, that explains why things are organized in your home can apply to your city and your country and uh, even foreign countries and, and beyond. Um, so I hope that kind of explains what spatial thinking is. Now that we've kind of covered what geography is, the natural question is, well, why geography? Why should we be studying it? Why is it important to learn? And that applies not only for the subject of geography, but specifically for geography in our given location, which is Brother Martin. Okay? Geography serves a lot of functions, but here in Brother Martin, it's also the class where you learn basic things about what being a student is like here. It is almost an extended form of orientation for you, and I want you to think of the course in that way. If you want to have a good time at Brother Martin and in high school, and hopefully beyond in your future studies, um, take your time to learn the school here, uh, come to me with questions, and pay attention to what we're talking about, because the lessons I'm, I'm going to try and teach you will not only apply to my class, but most other teachers' classes. And this is the class in the space where it's, it's very safe to make mistakes and to ask for help because we're going to be exploring uh, different kinds of software, the basics of how you gather information, um, what it means to be a student, because, you know, that in a really broad understanding of geography, that's all part of the game. You're in a certain location, and that location has rules and functions and certain ways that it operates, and, well, we're just here to give you a roadmap to understand it. But then there's the broader question of why should we study geography as the practical science that it is. And that's what I want to talk about for the remainder of this video. So why study geography? Well, there's many reasons, and we touched on the two broad ones in our introductory video to the class. But I would, I would list them simply as, one, geography is very useful as a practical skill and tool for approaching the world. And two, it's really darn fun. And I want to talk a little bit about both of those. So as a practical skill, geography is great because it helps you understand the world, how it works, and what you can do with it. If you want to do in anything in life, it helps a whole lot if you understand the basics of what you're doing. And everything that you do in this life takes place within space. Okay, and geography is how you understand that space and get to use it. Now, most of the actual content that we'll be looking at in geography will cover the whole world. But the skills that we use in each part of that world will help you put your own life in perspective. Okay. So, I may live in my neighborhood in New Orleans my whole life and think that that's how things are done. Okay, so I'm working with my own singular perspective. I, I see things through my own eyes and only my own eyes. But whenever I know how my neighbor does things, you know, that adds a second perspective into my toolbox. So, now I understand what, how two people do things. Likewise, when we know how things are done and operate in our own place, but then can compare it to other places, well, now we've just expanded our, our perspective by a whole lot. Now, it's hard to appreciate the real value of expanding your perspective in that way until you've done it and you've got some time and distance on it. But I'm going to tell you up front that it is very valuable to just know things about the world and how it works. 
And you'll be surprised how that comes in handy in life. But not just being in handy in, you know, a, a sense of how can this help me now in a material way, but um, being helpful in appreciating life uh, and also providing a framework for linking other areas and interests. So it, it, it broadens the context that you can put your other studies in. So geography is extremely helpful for understanding history, which I'll be teaching you when you get older. Um, it's also very helpful for understanding physics and biology, right? Living organisms all live in certain environments. Um, it's important to any of the human sciences because all human activity is taking place in the world. Uh, but it also has applications in English and in literature because, again, you know, if you're, if you're reading English or British literature, that's happening in a certain time and place. And books are full, full, chock full of references to all sorts of things. You could be reading, I don't know, what a, a Percy Jackson novel. You could be reading Harry Potter. You could be reading Things Fall Apart. All kinds of books that will take place in different settings and make use of different things. And when you read a book and you don't understand the basics of the references they're making, it can be deeply frustrating and it may turn you off of a piece of information. Uh, but in life, you may need to go to the airport one day and do all sorts of things that if you have an appreciation for how the world is organized and laid out, and if you don't know something, how you can figure out those things that you don't know, it's just going to broadly expand your horizons and let you do the things you want to do. And that ties me into the second point I want to touch on, which is that geography is fun. We're going to cover a lot of fun stuff. I'm really excited to get to it. But um, what geography lets you do is just explore cool things. I don't know how else to put it. Um, we're going to do a lot of work with Google Maps and Google Earth. Because of quarantine conditions, we can't go out into the physical world as much as we might have on other years. That's okay. We're going to make up for that with showing you the kinds of tools you can use to explore in your own time the world and all that's in it. And knowing what's in the world and how to find out more about it is going to be really important and valuable to you in life because if you if you don't know how to take things into your own hand hands and find information yourself, um, all you're left with is what people put in front of you. And I think as you get older, you're going to come to see that Living that way can, it can be deeply frustrating and uh, not very fun. So in this class, we're going to be covering a lot of things like other classes that you may not in and of the moment be excited about. You may not appreciate their full significance to your life, but I can tell you that down the road you are going to appreciate having known them. But among those things that may feel like difficult tasks, we're also going to be covering a lot of things that are just fun. Um, and not all of you will find the same things entertaining, but you will find some things entertaining. But more than that, you're going to find a lot of things rewarding. And I hope as we go throughout the year, we can point out to each other what we're finding value in and what is entertaining. And that really will be the lesson of perspective that we're trying to teach. How can you, how can all of us broaden our perspective to appreciate things that may not even have been on our radar in the first place. And I know that all of this may sound terribly vague right now, and that's okay. We're going to flesh out a lot of this in discussion, and in the next video, we're going to start to get really uh, specific and technical with what is geography. But for now, I'm thankful to all of you for having watched, and uh, I look forward to seeing all of you in class. So have a good afternoon.